Alright, hey everybody, this is everybody, this is here, and I'm here to present to you Pokemon Randomized Black Part 22! Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's just get started. I was gonna think of something else, but then I'm like, oh wait. Alright, so basically what happened last time, let me get the save state up. Alright, so basically what happened last time was that we went to the Relic Castle to try and see if we could find the Lightstone... To see if we could, like, apparently get the Lightstone, I think. Just find it there, but unfortunately we didn't. We ran into Getsis instead, and, uh, I think that's kind of, and I think that's kind of where, you know, we were starting to discover Getsis' true intentions. I don't know. I mean, I know how he's like. I think everyone else does, too, but it's like... Just a bunch of other stuff. And then we came here to, I think, Nacreen City, because apparently Lenora asked us something for us, and then we found the Lightstone there. So now basically we're gonna try and make our way to Opelucid City. Winter. Oh, really? Oh yeah, it's August. It's been a while, people. Icarus City. But still, I have lots of shit to talk about, which is an actual plus. Oh, it's snowing! Look at that. Oh, wait, Ru Oh, we have to take care of the trainers. Fuck me. Alright, so basically. Wait a minute, does this mean we. Oh, yeah, I'm not even sure why I'm using Repel. Oh, we can finally get some stuff. I forgot that there's a special thing in Icarus City where it's like if you get enough snow piled up, you can like get some extra stuffy stuffs. Oops. Is there anything else? Okay, I'm like thinking of my- The fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just- I'm, 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 an, I'm an item addict. How did I? Never mind. All right, let's just make our way down. I guess in the waters are frozen. Jesus. out. Thumper. Okay. Alright, so I guess first of all, so I guess first of all is that um, I actually got around to, I actually got around to finally finishing, oh, where is Shimeji? Anne! Even though I already said it. Sorry, Anne. I'm gonna turn this down a little. Alright, but um, uh, I finally got around to, walk to finishing Makaku City Actors. Oh my god, the ending was powerful. Like, it made me feel like shit because, like, it just made me think about, like, ah! I don't know. It it's hard to explain, but um, but I mean, Makaku City Actors is really good. I mean, there were some moments where it's um, where it kind of you know just made me think, what the fuck were they thinking? But you know, it was actually really nice. Really. Wait, I can't send out Pan Spark. Fuck. You know, and, uh, and I seriously loved Kuroha's appearance. Like, I mean, it's like, and what's weird though is like, I reckon. But and what's weird though is I actually recognize the, uh, the the th the antagonist before he actually made an appearance in, as Kuroha, just because of like the voice. Uh, let's do this. 
because um because I was kind of expecting um Kuraha to have the same voice actor as Konoha would because you know they're technically the same person very nice rock this but um Oh, that thing. Ew. But I mean, like... But seriously... Oops. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. <laughs> I accidentally pressed the start button. Yeah, I had to upgrade to Windows 8.1, which sucks. And it's like... <sighs> Kurohal is just so powerful. I mean, he got his ass kicked, though. Like, because he only... Thank you. Because it's like, he only stayed in- he was only in one episode, which kind of sucked. And then... And then, he only sta stayed around for like, probably five to ten minutes. Ooh! So, I mean, it wasn't really much of a powerful presence, but it's like, I still liked it. Seriously, I mean... He knew- Sludge Bomb, okay. He seriously almost killed- I mean, first of all, he nearly fucking- Oops. Oh yeah, I can't get CMs anymore. Fuck. Can I not get on there? Gosh. There has to be some way to crawl. Fucking hell! Ugh! You fucking with me. Can I not get across here? <laughs> I'm trying to tell my story here and it won't. Full heal. But, um. And it's like, but I'm so freaking happy that, um, that all the characters that died actually came back. It's like, yes, yes, yes! But I swear to god, episode, I think, 10 had to be the most heartbreaking episode ever. Because, like, first of all, I see freaking, I see, I see the story of Azumi's ending coming, and I'm like, oh no! I seriously hope to God, Azumi, Tukihiko, and Shion got back together as a family again, because I swear, I'm gonna cry if they didn't. Okay, can I not get across here? Oh, okay, I'm supposed to go here, okay. Uh, I'm trying my best to figure this out, it's just really hard. I have to get- I have to battle her. Wait, what? I'm guessing this is Two Blind Bridge? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, you're high, I think, because it's like, give me your rocks, man. Why didn't I battle you earlier? I don't know. But I mean, it was just so nice. Ogamola? How do you pronounce it? It was just, it felt really fucking nice, though. And, uh... But I mean, it seriously... Like, I think the day after, it made me seriously cover... Want to cover, uh... Outer Science. Excuse me. <laughs> and, I mean, basically... And, and again, you have to check that song out. It's so nice. Oh, which brings up a gripe I do have with Kuroha, is that I seriously don't like that, you know, it's, that basically the main antagonist is a, um, is Kenjiro's snake, which didn't really make sense to me, because it's like, so, the fuck? Oh, fuck. Alright, well, holy shit. Well, I'm pretty sure this thing doesn't have any. Get out of here. Ogomomola. I think that's how you pronounce it. Alright, let's get out of here. 
but I'm, eh, but um, basically, I mean, don't get me wrong. I kind of figured it what that the snake that. Oh fuck me, a Bianca! I'm trying to tell a story here. Akari. As I've been traveling lately, I've been thinking about things, things like what I can do with my life and what I want to do. But I'm thinking about, I'm thinking how cool it would be to be a model like Elisa. And then how cool it would be to do research on Pokemon like Professor Juniper. If that's what I want to do, I'm going to have to know a lot about Pokemon. So, would you please battle me? Bitch! Akari vs. Bianca. <laughs> what? I'm trying to tell a story here. I'm trying to tell a story here. I mean, I... But anyway, going back to what I'm trying to say. I kind of figured that, um... Oh my god, that thing is huge. But I kind of figured that, um... It, that the antagonist was gonna be like a snake, but I thought it was gonna be like fucking hell. I did not do that, but I kind of thought that the snake was actually gonna be um work up. Oh dear, I thought the snake was gonna be like um Konoha's snake, but corrupted because apparently, like, the reason why Azumi let him live, they would do a theory, was that basically Haruka looked like looked a lot like Tsukihiko. And that's why he got the snake. But it's like, my theory was that for Kuroha, like, maybe, you know, he, that Kuroha was an ex a separate being of himself. And that, um... You know, that basically, you know, because that basically Kuroha was the snake that... Jesus! That Kuroha was the snake that, um... I'm just gonna give you a cross drop because I don't like you. Fuck me! Wait, what?! Why am I getting my ass kicked by Stoutland? I am not dealing with this. Fuck no. Fuck off, Stoutland. I'm trying to tell my story here. Oh, I swear, if I- Where the hell am I revised? Fucking- But, um... Are you serious?! Anyway... <sighs> I'm trying, people. It's hard when I have, like, next to nothing. But my theory was that um, Kuraha was a, a separate being of itself, and that basically, you know, it was a corrupted snake of Konoha's power, and just die. And that basically, it's like it was the reason why it was corrupted was because I get, I guess, you know, like it was just because of the love that Oz, you bitch, was because of the love Azami had for Sukihiko, and that's what, and. Considering that the snake was connected to her, it's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I just, but it's like, but, and, but don't get me wrong, I do like that the clear, that the, um, Kenjiro snake, are you fucking with me? <laughs> <laughs> it's seven in the morning as I'm recording this, and I'm, <laughs> I'm trying not to get pissed, it's sucky suck. This Stoutland is kicking my ass. I am not dealing with this all day. Take this fucking earthquake, you fucking dumbass. Jesus. I'm trying to get everyone XP and you won't let me. You are not mo-, mo no. Simi- Anyway. But I mean, the clearing snake, which is Kenjiro's snake, that was actually, um, I mean, I actually understood its motive, that basically it's like, apparently, like, its motive, first of all, was like to help Kenjiro, um, bring back Ayaka, which in turn, um, kind of set in motion, like, 
Are you fucking with me? Why is this thing faster? And that, in turn, had to basically combine all the snakes in order to make a new Medusa. Which doesn't really make sense since Mary's basically one. But, but you know, but as in the final episode it was stated that basically, um, he was doing it just because, so he could, he was basically making Mary reset the timeline because, because he wanted to live longer. Because his existence basically depends on people's dreams and such. And I was like, that's a fucking mean thing to do, but it's nice. This Samurai's gonna get his ass kicked. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Take this, Thunderbolt. Or not. Don't die. I gotta heal. Why am I getting my ass kicked by these Poke- by Bianca's Pokemon? <laughs> I'm starting to hate Bianca. <laughs> like, first of all, she interrupts me during my during my experience in the Cup of City Actors. Jesus. Anyway, and um, basically, <sighs> but overall, I did like the Cup of City Actors. I mean, there were a few gripes I had with it, don't get me wrong, aside from it being 12 episodes and shit, and episode 4 being the worst. I actually liked it. But I mean, the thing I didn't really get, though, is that, like, I don't like that it did rush through the story. That I, I don't really like how they did the, um, what's it called? The pacing, let's just say? Musharna. Okay, this is gonna be nice. I mean, basically, it's like the beginning was way too slow. The middle was just full of flashbacks, and the end was fucking rushed. But I mean, again, and but it's like I can't really, I can't really blame the direct the the studio because like they basically said this was gonna be twelve episodes. So I was like, I'm pretty sure, and it's like, and it's like to be honest, Kaguya Project is basically a bunch of backstory. You know, I mean, the beginning's established, the ending was established, but there was no middle to work with. So it's like, what can you do with the middle? Um, let's do Shadow Ball. But yeah. I seriously- I did- I- But overall, Mikaku City Actors is a very good anime. It's a very good anime, it just has- But I mean, I don't- th I don't think a lot of people would understand it if they didn't know this- the, the creation behind it like I do. However, I did read some comments on the final episode, and it's like, they're basically saying that that episode was a what-if scenario. I'm like, I refuse to believe it was, it's a what-if scenario. Because it's like, that would make me sad. And if, and if it turns out that Jin actually made that episode just because, you know, it's like, oh, it's a what-if scenario, I'm seri my heart is seriously gonna kill itself. Because I cannot, I cannot accept that one of my characters is dead. Yep, Akari, you're amazing. I'm really, really, really impressed, and this that makes me want to give this to you. One full restore. <sighs> In Castellus City, my precious Pokemon was stolen by Team Plasma, so I really, really understand. If Team Plasma forces everyone to liberate their Pokemon, there will be nothing but sad people. Akari, stop Team Plasma! Don't allow Pokemon to be stolen from trainers who love them! I think that's the truth, or ideal, that you've been pursuing, Akari. Oh dear, here I've come all this way, and I'm afraid I'm bothering you when you're going through so much. All I wanted was to help you relax, Akari. No, no, you'll be fine. Definitely, you'll totally be fine. I guarantee it. Anyways, you know what I mean. Yeah, so, bye-bye! I hate you. Does this mean I can finally not deal with... Okay. Okay, I'm gonna heal real quick. God, my Pokemon got fucked up in that fight by Bianca. Alright, where's the revive I bought? I could just... 
Actually, can I just use- can I just- oops. Can I just waste a max revive? Jesus, out of all the Pokemon who has the least HP, Kirito, you suck. But, um... What's here? Hello? No. Tch. Why are there two people here? Anvil Town, huh? The hell? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. This is definitely new. I'm going so slow. Alright, and second of all... Second of all... Oh god, there has been so much drama in the past month. But I mean, basically it just came kind of like to a head, I think, on um... Can I talk to you, please? Yo, yeah, fucking hell. Chinese girls. Oh, you bitch. I'm trying to talk to her. Ugh. Finally. TM43. <sighs> There, Jesus Christ. Is that Getsus? Oh my god, that is! What the fuck? <gasps> that shit is scary! I didn't know who that was, I thought it was just like another trainer. Why the fuck is he at the end of this bridge? <laughs> Look at that motherfucker! That motherfucker is creepy! Why is he at the end of the bridge? Do you see that? Get the fuck away from me! I have done shit! Please, I don't want to die! Come. Oh my god. Gets us. We brought the one you wanted. Oh god. Fuck. Oh my god, this shit is insane. Excellent. It seems that you've obtained the Lightstone. I congratulate you on a job well done. Why are you here? It is my Lord N's thought that the two holders of the legendary Pokemon should put their beliefs on the line and strive to find which is the true hero. Why is he here? That motherfucker was creepy! It's like, who the fuck is that at the end of the tunnel? This is not necessary, however. From his infancy, I provided him with the education required to become the hero of legend. Indeed, he has been so acknowledged by the legendary Pokemon. Such purity of purpose is his. The liberation of Pokémon, of which I, of which Team Plasma, speaks, is the separation of Pokémon from foolish people. That's the truth. All trainers will become helpless to resist us. We alone will be able to use Pokémon. The preparations are complete. When my perfect plan is set in motion, first, a few gullible Pokémon trainers who are unable to resist Team Plasma will release their Pokémon. Then that number will become a hundred, then a thousand. In no time, even the gym leaders and the champion will become unable to fight us. Having a Pokemon will be considered a bad thing. Even people like the sad little Bianca, whose Pokemon was stolen in Castalia, will be unable to face public opinion when we release their Pokemon. That's the kind of world we'll make! You may have the stone, but there's no chance whatsoever that the legendary Pokemon will accept you as the hero. So, if you're not willing to hand over your precious Pokemon, I suggest you search for some courage. Because you're going to need it! <laughs> that motherfucker is creepy! That motherfucker is creepy! I'm sorry! It's like, just telling me that? Like, what the fuck? Shopping Mall 9? Can I- JESUS! But still, that motherfucker is creepy. What the fuck? 
Who are you? The pitcher throws his first pitch! The fuck? Th thank you? <laughs> thank you? The fuck? Oh, a high high breaker. Is that a double battle? Route 9. But it's like, why the- fuck. But it's like, why the fuck was he just like, standing there on the end of the bridge just to tell me that? It's like, oh yeah, you slut. Fuck! I thought I could avoid those two. If I win, give me a- fuck no. But still, that was... But, um, getting back to what I was saying before Getsa showed up... Damn, nice critical hit. But getting back to what I was sa what I was saying before I got inter so painfully interrupted, was that there's also been a lot of drama that, I that me and I've just gotten my friend Morgan pulled into it by accident, but she's been really nice so far as to stay with it. We seriously made a fan verse for it because of it's so being being so stupid. Fuck. Weak armor. Ooh. Oh god. But I mean, like, it's just ridiculous because it's like. We've just added so much shit, and it's ridiculously funny. Like, and that's why there's so many. Like, once I get her into a video again, I'm for ser I'm gonna seriously just bring up the inside jokes we have, and no one's gonna understand. It's like, what the fuck? And it's like, I can't help it. I seriously think this there should be a paper type. What's this? Shopping Mall 9? What is this? Is this supposed to be like the, 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 the department store in Unova? Ah, oh, great. <laughs> Done shopping? 9! Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Is this basically the department store? Oh, shit. Trainer tips. Go, 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 go! I don't want to battle. Oh shit! There was grass. I saw that. Let me go back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Wait, how many Paul? Let's see. What is our first? What can we get here? Holy fuck. Apparently a Nido King. Okay, I have ten of these left. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. Just stay in the ball, come on. Motherfucker, stay in the ball! I'm not gonna ask you again. Stay in the ball. I mean, seriously, I don't feel like staying here for. Thank you. How long have you been recording? I feel like it's been. Yup, half hour. 
Alright, let's see. Nidoking, the drill Pokemon. One swing of its mighty tail can snap a telephone pole as if it were a matchstick. Uh, I have like no j Yeah, I'm just gonna call it Barney. Because I have like next to nothing. Barney! Let's make our way to Opelousid City. Oh shit. End here. Have you heard this before? No. Fuck, <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> god damn it, my voice is gonna hurt! And there's Team Plasma here! Hello, Akari! This way! Oh my god, he's hearing too? <gasps> Yay! Gets us. What a liar! Desperately trying to con everyone with his speech. Excuse me, Ennis. That's correct. Our Lord Ennis combined his power with the legendary dragon type Pokemon and intends to create a new world. We hailed the return of the hero Unova, founder of this region. Hero Dragon Legend? Pokemon are different from people. They are living beings who contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. They are beings whose greatness we should acknowledge. Beings who should be free from our oppression. Read Pokemon. <laughs> we, Team Plasma, invite you to join us. We all want to create a new world where people and Pokemon are both free. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you now, please, release your Pokemon. And so, I end my plea to you today. Thank you one and all for your attention. The fuck? So first of all, he's he's meeting me on Tubalon Bridge acting like a creeper and now he's in Opelucid City. Is it true? Have we been making Pokemon suffer? Hmm, maybe we should release our Pokemon like Team Plasma says. No way! Without Pokemon I'll be lonely and sad! Does it fucking matter? Oh, fuck me, I don't know what- Oh, damn it, Iris! I don't know what voice I gave her. What was that about? That speech was off the charts strange. Oh, f Oh, shit. What voice do I give Drayden? Okay, okay, okay. The cooperation of people in Pokemon is how Unova came to exist to begin with. If a Pokemon really didn't want anything to do with humans, it would simply leave. Capturing a Pokemon in a Pokeball doesn't mean you've captured its heart. Let's go, Akari! It's been a while, Iris and Jaden. Oh, Mr. Otter! And the girl who helped out that time! What's wrong? What does the wandering champion who left the Pokemon League need from us? Briefly, my request is this! Tell us about the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon! Are you talking about Zekrom or Reshiram? What's the sudden interest? Moments ago, a troublemaker known as Getsus was here. He said a po trainer named N has reawakened Zekrom. Yes! That trainer called N apparently told Akari here <laughs> to search for the other dragon type Pokemon. Let me check that I have this straight. This N, what have you, presumes to set the two dragon type Pokemon against each other in battle to test his convictions. The dragon type Pokemon get along so well! That's right, Iris! The ones who make Pokemon battle are the trainers, and so the trainers and the Pokemon can get to know each other better. I'm going into the Pokemon League. No, I guess in this case I should say I'm returning to the Pokemon League. Of course I'll defeat N. I'll de <laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> this voice is fucked up. I'll teach him about the beauty of this world, where Pokemon and trainers live together in harmony. Also, Akari, I'll await your arrival. Once you've obtained the Opelousid badge, come to the league. The Opelousid gym leader is tough. Take care! Farewell. I'm counting on you, Drayden and Iris. <sighs> there we go. Aw, he's gone. Is he okay? He looked kind of scary. 
Don't worry, Iris. He is the strongest trainer in all of Unova. Well, Kari, is it? Come to my home. As Alder asked, I'll tell you everything I can about the legendary dragon-type Pokemon. Iris, child, please show the way. You bet! If it's not Pellucid City, I can take you anywhere! As for the Zorian's story of Zekrom and Retram, we'll tell you all we know about it! This way! Wait, are you fucking with me? That way! First of all, I need to end this video quickly because I'm already half- Ooh, who are you? <laughs> I had to ask. Alright, so I can fucking heal my Pokemon, see what nuts are in the center, and then I'll go check out some... me. I didn't want to do it again. Don't bow when I didn't ask. Okay. What are you supposed to be? Wow. Okay, let's see what Pokemon we have before we start signing off here. There's Mayu. Barney! Your hasty nature. That lowers your sp that ups your speed and lowers your defense. Okay, you have holy fuck, Barney. Barney. All right. Well, we finally made our way to Opelousid City. I'm not getting into story purposes because I'm already halfway over the line. But Ooh. all right. So that was a oh, women. Team sign off. I forgot about that. So we have. Cutie throw the careful primeape. I can throw the mild Charizard. Panspark the calm electric. Thumper the impish Steelix. Yuichi the hasty mammal swine. And Spirit the sassy spirit tomb. Alright, so that was Pokemon Randomized Black Part 22, I believe. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, God, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> Guess this was being a little creepy fucker. But still, it's like... Oh yeah, this was a quick note, I just realized this, like... I mean, I can't help that I'm not making as many male voices. It's just that, you know... For the visual novels, I'm used to voicing one male character only. Not... Not, like, a multitude of them. And it's like, with Pokemon, there's not that many male characters in, to begin with, so it's like, okay, that's easy. But it's like, with Black, there's so many, because it's a different storyline. But, um, yeah, so please forgive my horrible voice acting for Getsis, Alder, and Drayden. It's hard to come up with voices when you're not a guy in the first place. <laughs> I mean, that's mean, but... Uh, it's true, though. Anyway, so... Oh, Katawa Shoujo, part 35, I believe, will be up to, on Wednesday because... And unfortunately, I had to censor that one as well because of sex. I hate sex so much. Anyway, so, thanks for watching, and hope to see you guys again for Katawa Shoujo, part 35, on Wednesday. So, see ya!